Congressman, big corporate money jeopardizes the health of the democracy. The Supreme Court Citizens United ruling made big money even more powerful than ever before. In the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis, no one went to jail, even though a lot of wrongdoings were discovered. We are all affected by the crisis, yet the big banks are getting even bigger. Too Big to Fail is getting worse. Their lobbyists and connections in Washington make them a special ruling class. Big money shelters them from prosecution and gives them even more access to elected officials. Congressman, will you lead the fight to overturn Citizen United, starting with full disclosure of your donors? Most of you know Congressman Hondo was incredibly opposed to Citizens United. It was a huge tragedy for our country, um, and I think in moving forward, he's definitely going to take action to overturn it. He's already worked with several members of Congress. He's sponsoring or co-sponsoring the uh, Fair Elections Now Act, which would overturn a lot of that stuff that happened in Citizens United. It was essentially uh, establish a system of public financing for campaigns, um, which would require small donors, similar to what President Obama did in his campaign, um, to be to be the majority of funding for any candidate running for office. Which means it could not come from banks, it could not come from large corporations. It would have to come from individual Americans who felt strongly enough about a candidate to donate that money, to donate their hard-earned money to that candidate. And that's the only way that someone could finance their campaign. Um, we'll see, we, we'll definitely keep supporting that bill and, and any others like it. We'll do, we'll do whatever we can to overturn Citizens United. Obviously, it's not good for us either, so we'll, we'll definitely take action to get rid of it and then for Fair Election Now Act and similar bills as well. Go Honda! Yeah. 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 Congressman, Washington is fixated on deficit reduction when Americans need jobs more than anything else. I just got laid off. When I look around the valley, I see a huge number of qualified job seekers going after a small number of available positions. I see consumers not spending for fear of losing their jobs and companies not hiring because of weak demand for their products and services. Deficit reduction will kill even more jobs in the short term. Congressman, will you take the lead to get Washington focused on job creation? Will you lead the movement to create more jobs for all Americans? Will you urge Representative Pelosi to make the top, to make this her top priority? Yes, absolutely. You will continue doing that. Um, you will take leadership on it. That's why he introduced the people's budget. I think that's a real, almost silver bullet to, uh, to describe and, and fix the situation that you and so many other folks are in right now. So he will continue to keep fighting for it. He will continue to let leadership know, he will continue to let the White House know um, how important the jobs are, and that's his number one priority. So thank you. We want to thank you all for being here. You're playing a critical role in our democracy by being out here, being active, and advocating for what you believe in. The debt ceiling deal was bad, but it is hardly the end of the budget wars. This is the entire Republican agenda, and they will not stop until we stop them. Congressman Honda has stood up to them every step of the way. He was a no on the extension of the Bush tax cuts, a no on HR1, a no on the Ryan budget, a no on the cut cap and balance bill, and a no on the shoot the hostage debt limit deal that we saw last week. In fact, Congressman Honda wrote the only budget that would have completely eliminated the deficit while investing in jobs. Congressman Honda will continue to stand with you as we stand up to this Republican agenda, which is bent on destroying Medicaid, Medicare, and Social Security. Now Republicans have created a super committee charged with finding an additional $1.5 trillion in deficit reduction. But it was the Republicans that got us into this mess in the first place, with unpaid for wars and unpaid for tax cuts. Congressman Honda has already found those savings that the committee is looking for. It's simple enough. End the wars, repeal the Bush tax cuts, and you have your savings. Right. Ultimately, however, we all know that the key to solving these problems and getting our finances back on track lies in building a high-growth economy with good, sustainable jobs. 
Congressman Honda's budget would have invested our government's money back into the U.S., providing funding for much-needed infrastructure projects while creating critical new jobs in the trade. Congressman Honda is focused on the two elements that he feels are the key to building an economy that works for middle-class families. Revitalizing our manufacturing sector and revamping our education system so we can continue to compete globally. Congressman Honda will be introducing legislation to provide incentives to new companies and the makers of innovative products to build their manufacturing facilities here in the U.S. instead of abroad, so that the wealth and the jobs that they create all stay here. Congressman Honda will continue to work with the National Equity and Excellence Commission, a commission he founded to create a real blueprint to rebuild our public schools and to put our teachers back to work. He is also working on legislation to improve STEM and early childhood education and to introduce new groundbreaking ideas like extending the school calendar and providing the federal support that will allow our schools to grow. Thank you again for being here today to support this critical agenda. We're going to stand with you as we move forward. Thank you.